This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI men's basketball program looks to be primed and ready to have a very big year thanks to a wealth of veteran players and depth at every position on the court. The non-conference competition will be a good measuring stick for the Panthers as they plan on taking the Missouri Valley Conference title in March. Here are some of the key members of the 2014-15 UNI men's basketball team. I'm always excited to start playing basketball. It's a great time of year. I love this time of year. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'm more excited because this team has a lot of potential. And I think everybody kind of knows that. Got a lot of talent. A lot of talented guys and a lot of experience to go along with that talent. So I feel like this could really be the year that we make something special happen. Our workouts, we got our Andre who came in. Uh, he worked with us on our balancing and our strength. So just strengthening other areas of our game. So it's going to be an exciting year for us. The fans of this place and, and the community has been waiting for a great year. Uh, we're, we're planning on giving one to them this year. Um, it's my last chance, it's my last go around, and uh, obviously I, I came here to go to the NCAA tournament and we haven't been there yet. Um, so, you know, one more chance, we're going to hold nothing back, we're going to give it everything we got. We're going to Texas. <laughs> Jake yeah. promise you that he, he, he said before I leave, we'll get it. We'll get to play in Texas. We have a great tournament in Cancun. We play really good teams down there. We got Iowa again this year. You know, we got a good Richmond team. But uh, Stephen F. Austin's still around five hours away. But it's, it's still just good to get a chance to play in Texas before I graduate. So, yeah, I'll have, I'll have a lot of family members that are going to come out and uh, support me. So it'll be fun. I think it's built to get us ready, get us ready for something special to happen. We're going to test ourselves often and early and figure out what we need to do and it's going to help us come together and try to make a run. Get to go out to Denver and play them. I mean, we saw them a couple of years ago and uh, and I have some family out there, so, so getting to see them. I'm not a big fan of yoga. It's, it's just too much. I mean, when it's 110 degrees in the room and you got 20 guys, <laughs> there's not really much of a favorite besides just trying to catch your breath. Maybe the child pose where you're relaxing. <laughs> it was a very fun experience. It was something different, something that we never did, something that I never did personally. So, but I enjoyed it though. We, the whole team did it, the coaches did it as well. Kind of a shock because it is 100 plus degrees in hot yoga and we were not, I wasn't prepared for it at least. The coaches were able to hang. The first day was a little rough for them. First day, uh, a couple of them had to exit the room. A few of them, not gonna name who, didn't come back. But <laughs> I know downward dog and child's pose and uh, oh the crow something where you get on your hands and it's like a bouncing it's like a half hand stands it was fun. Um, we got a lot of guys contending for playing time. It's I mean everyone's been working really hard harder than last year in my opinion and and uh, it should be it should be an exciting year. Uh, we, we just got a lot of experience. We know what to expect and. Uh, I just think we, we had a, we got a year of playing uh, with each other. We basically got the same team back, so I think we're just going to be more prepared and ready. I think we're more focused on the little things. Uh, last year we were a very solid team. We were very, very skilled, scored a lot of points, but uh, maybe didn't do some of the toughness things in that aspect that we, we, we did that some of the other teams did in the past, and that's why they did so well. We're at a maturity level that you know this team hasn't been at in a little bit, obviously since they made their, uh, their big run, so I think that that'll play a big part in it. And then, like I said, the depth. I think he's going to have a crucial part in it too. Ben Jacobson and the men's basketball team invite you to attend the tip-off breakfast on Wednesday, October 8th inside the McLeod Center. Fans will enjoy a free breakfast and listen to Coach Jacobson, Troy Dannon, and student-athletes talk about the upcoming season. Breakfast will be served at 7 o'clock with the program beginning at 7.45 on October 8th.